in this video I want to pay attention to an audio amplifier with a certain bass boost. But there is a lot to tell. Uh, this is schematic. By the way, perhaps you can surely see that this is what it is anyway. Preamplifier made with two BC547B uh, transistors. And here is the end amplifier. And I was talking about that end amplifier, say, a few days ago. Uh, perhaps it's interesting to show more how you can get a, say, kind of rich, mellow sound out of such an amplifier. And of course that doesn't regard uh, only to this amplifier but also to other amplifiers and that's a reason why I want to publish it. And there is a lot to tell. Well, this is in fact the first stage of that amplifier. Uh, here there is a uh, switch here. And with that switch, we switch out all the high frequencies, but in a later stage, we add them again when the whole, all the base frequencies are amplified by this first transistor and this second transistor here. This is the second, second stage. So uh, here's the schematic. Perhaps that's uh, more clear what happens in this circuit. Uh, here is that one microfarad non-polar capacitor that switches all the high frequencies off. Say it's, it's a part of a filter. When you know something about audio filters uh, you will surely know that when you connect a a capacitor parallel to an audio line to ground, all the higher frequencies are uh, pressed down anyway. But we add here, that's a, a good property of this circuit, we add all these high frequencies here again via a 10 nanofarad capacitor that goes to the output of the two stage amplifier. And why do you need a two-stage amplifier? Because there is an enormous loss here in the whole audio band when you shortcut out all the, say, low frequencies. Sorry, all the high frequencies. The middle frequencies in general, say, between uh, 3 kilohertz and 5 kilohertz or 1 kilohertz and 5 kilohertz um, in general have a much higher volume compared to the low lower frequencies say between 20 hertz and uh, 1 kilohertz and all frequencies above uh, say for Kilo cycles. Anyway, the schematic. I want to demonstrate it. I also want to show all the effects of um, the the whole circuit. And uh, perhaps it's interesting to tell that when you make an audio filter, say in terms of what you can expect on the audio frequencies and how the whole filter sounds. That is completely uh, depending on the values that you use on the amplification. That's also very important for instance to tell that when you, uh, you can set the amplification of the first stage of that uh, filter and you can set the amplification of the second transistor in the filter and they all have a, a substantial effect on how the whole uh, audio range, the sound is reproduced. 
By the way, this one doesn't have much effect, uh, but when you use it without this part of the filter here, you only use this part of the filter, uh, the amplification here has a substantial effect anyway. Want to refer to one of my books? It's the book, this book. Uh, and the circuit that I show now here is in fact one of these circuits, though it was a little bit adapted. And here you see, when you are interested, the first stage of that first preamp. And when you uh, say compare this circuit to this circuit, you will see many similarities. But okay, let's listen and see what happens in this circuit. So, the music is Bach now. And the first demonstration is to say switch out this capacitor that say adds high to the whole music. To the completely music, complete music pattern. So now I switch this 10 nanofarad capacitor off. So it means that you, for instance, can use this in a very soft and mellow way on the background, wherever you want to use it in your room in etc etc so very very soft sound now the higher frequencies are damped and perhaps interesting to show all the effects of the filters here is that second and here is that second this one second amplifier let's listen Amplification goes up, the bass frequencies also go up in a certain way. As it has to do with the properties of the filter. And say, when you uh, change, for instance, the input level of the audio amp here, it also has, in a certain way, an effect on the sound. Any Way. And say when you uh, set the change the input level, this is by the way a kind of bad property of this circuit. So you have to adapt the input potentiometer. Uh, so that it, when you uh, lift it up to the maximum volume, it uh, you don't hear distortion. But uh, well, talking about that, uh, that's completely uh, to your uh, to the situation where you where you want to use this circuit. Say, for instance, uh, at the output of an MP3 player, etc., etc. I've used now a 100k resistor. You can try a 50k potentiometer, etc. So this is surely overdone, but anyway, that's what it is. So now we go to another piece of music. In Albany, New York, 
I've used it many times. And here there are more bass frequencies. So perhaps it gives a somewhat better idea. And well, like I told, we are now on the on a frequency band where all the say higher frequencies are pressed down. So show me, let me show the let me show the properties of this 10 nanofarad capacitor. Again, here, this 10 nanofarad capacitor again, it transports the higher frequencies from the input directly to the output and in a certain way passes, it passes the filter. But on the other hand, you can say that the filter, when you say connect this 10 nanofarad capacitor in, uh, gets a certain specific frequency band and that's both things happen so anyway so a very heavy bass and mellow sound and, when, and at the same time the high frequencies are added. Uh, now I switch the high frequencies off, off again. And you surely hear what is happening. Well, that was more or less all uh, the pre-amplifier is now connected to the um, other amplifier that I've published on YouTube. It works on approximately 38 volts. It's here. Quiescent current is okay. No problems with that. Uh, no uh, say risk of Thermal runaway, want to refer to the earlier schematic and the earlier demo video. So that was more or less all to tell. Thanks for watching. The pass sound pre amplifier and the second amplifier stage. Looks very sloppy, but uh, the whole thing is completely visible here. And thanks for watching again. Pen over somewhat.